Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 14 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without any delay, let's go to the first question. So first question is what is e-bonding? So e-bonding is a B2B software integration methodology that automatically exchanges data between two business applications. When we make any change in a system A, then those change gets auto reflected in system B. This is referred to as bonding to keep the system in sync. In other words, we can say that it is a way of bi-directionally synchronizing data between unique companies and their system. Let's, let's move to the next question. What is the table name which we expose as a web service to receive attachments in AP? attachment in service now from any third party tool. So the target table will be the sys attachment where we are um, storing all the attachment but we never expose this to third party tool. We create a import set table or attachment API for that. Now move to the next question. The next question is what I what type of VPN does service now support? So the side to side between data center and the customer data center it that that type of VPN supported by ServiceNow. The next question is what is CMS and why do you use it? So CMS stands for content Manager, content management system and it enables you to create a custom interface for the now platform and its applications. This allows end users to request items, read articles, and update records in a simple web-like interface that can be unique to your organization. So the next question is, what is drop zone in CMS? Means what is drop zone in content management system? So the drop zone component helps to simplify creating areas where files can be dropped and uploaded or dis displayed. You simply wrap, wrap it up around any other element to create zone. The drop zone also create a focus ring around the area when the user drags files over it. So the next question is, how can you check on which ServiceNow instance node you are working? So you just go to the system diagnostic, or then go to the stats and statistics page will open where you can get the details of node and instance on which you are working on. Or better you can tell like uh, in the filter navigator we can type stats.do when you click uh, when you type stats.do and press enter then also you will redirect to the same page that will be the shortcut so in the last video i have asked what is the sequence of publishing knowledge article so the sequence will be like, like firstly it will go to the draft stage when we initially create a knowledge article. Then it will go to the review where like uh, approvers are waiting for like um, approvers, appro uh, like, um, approvers need to approve the knowledge article. Once it will approve, once it will approve then it will go to the publish state. And any of the knowledge article if it publishes they having one uh, like uh, uh, end of the end of the life or you can say like a retired date so once that date will come then that article will be retired so that this is the complete sequence like draft review published retired so that today's question is is discovery is one way or two way communication so like sometimes when you when you mention in your resume like you have worked on discovery so maybe they will start their communication from this basic question only like is discovery is a one way or two way communication so if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i'll give the answer in the next video till that time thank you god bless you all